Today we are going to explore some of Melbourne's most beautiful, wacky and world-renowned designers. First up, Ice Cream Nails. Welcome. I'm so excited. You're about to get pictures on your nails. Know, so everyone's really excited. over the top excited, <laughs> like you are. <laughs> it was one of those things where people would just look at you funny like, what do you mean, nail art? Once they saw it, they realised how cool it was. With your nail artists, how do they get so good? With hours and hours and hours of practice and obsession. You need to be, like, completely obsessed. Yes, yeah, to be at the level that, the, that they are, yes. Where's this fascination come from? Maybe it's just people looking for, you know, a, an extension on their personality or their fashion sense or style. I also think people have a real fascination with how we do it, how you get such intricate designs on a nail. People are obsessed with getting their pet on their nails. And another popular one when it comes to people's faces is partners, boyfriends or girlfriends. Weird's a word for it, yeah. <laughs> Weird's one word. <laughs> and we'll do anything. We'll try to do anything. <laughs> Depending. There's a few, you know, limitations, like time is one of them. What are the weirdest things that you've seen? Can't really say. Really? Yeah, so some you, rude what, stuff. penises? Yeah. Who wants to walk around with penises on their fingers, though? Maybe a hen's. <laughs> a hen? Oh, my God! They look <laughs> amazing! <gasps> All done. These are just the coolest things I've ever seen. I'm totally going to have to learn how to do that all by myself. Next up, I'm off to meet with Nixie Killick, the psychedelic streetwear designer who has dressed the likes of Lady Gaga and Kimbra. Talk me through your concept. So I call myself an Imagineer, and I make psychedelic streetwear and sculptured technology-induced wearables. Ooh, yeah! <laughs> I'm trying to look at alternative possibles for, like, the power of dressing and really looking at how you can um, hijack technology and kind of input it into wearable clothing. I seem to a lot of the time come back to this conversation between nature and technology. Things like these are like, um, they're like essentially this studs or like sequins but they're mm. electronics so you link them together with like a conductive thread yeah. so it's just like making a circuit board but on the body and through fabric. All of the prints come from watercolour paintings or photographs and then I wow. digitise yeah, oh, <laughs> totally. That's sick. Ready for the fight, right? Oh, got to be ready for the fight. There's a real warrior kind of vibe in here as well. I think you kind of have to be these days. Yeah. If you're going to wear things that have a statement or are quite bold, you've got to be able to stand up for yourself. So everything begins as drawings. I have this time where I just have a lockdown and just paint. This is definitely my favourite part of the design process, being able to like sit and paint and just totally dive into creating this world. Mm. And then scanning this in, taking it over the computer, then it's paired a lot with sort of images, photographs and things like that from, usually from like the last adventure or wherever I've kind of been, because a lot of the time that kind of inf informs these drawings and stuff as well. Well, I'd kind of like to try on something. Yeah, perhaps. let's do it. Yeah? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Rock and roll. Hey! Ta-da! Amazing! <laughs> I feel like an avatar. Yes, exactly, <laughs> perfect. It's just incredible. When does it become too much? Nah. Not possible, right? <laughs> Lady Gaga, I totally understand why you raided Nixie's closet. Now I'm off to visit Lady Petrova, the designer and certified girl boss creating a fashion dream world. Hi! How are you doing? How are you? <laughs> the Lady Petrova. That's my official title. This is my pretty new collection that we can play dress-ups with. You are a very unique individual and everything I see about you is it's really special it's something different like everything from your hair to your nails to the chul. Yeah I do live in my own crazy make-believe world which is a pretty nice place to be. I think dressing up as a little girl that feeling you get when you feel very magical like you could be anything I like to try and put that into my clothes every day and my designs as well. I remember being in year three and talking to my teacher and being like you know this doesn't really work Miss O'Keefe you shouldn't wear that check skirt with that top. She'd be like, Thanks, Trevor. <laughs> the majority of the pieces here are from my latest summer collection, which is called De Femme, which was inspired by a artist called Hilma A.F. Clint, who was the first abstract expressionist artist. 
What's your bedroom like at home? Uh, it's, not, it's not as girly and crazy as colourful as this. You don't have piles and piles of, of, of dolls? No, and, no, uh, I used to have all that madness in my crazy boutique. So I would keep that as my girly world and then I'd go home and just watch crime and drink beer and like, you know, get out of the... Like if I was like this at home as well as in my working environment, as well as in my shop, I'd be so sickly sweet it would be annoying. You know? yeah, yeah, you'd be like a walking yeah. cupcake yeah, or exactly. something. Yeah, exactly. No, that would drive me insane. <laughs> I can't be like that all the time. Gorgeous! <laughs> oh, so fun and frilly! Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, it's fabulous. And I added this little piece on too. I love it. Amazing. Well, thank you so much no for problem. having me. It was so fun to play with you today. I'm gonna my have darling. to go out for a party now. Yeah, done. Okay, cool. Alright, <laughs> see you guys. Bye. Bye. Thanks so much. No Good luck with everything. Thank you. See you, sweetheart. Bye. Bye.